and welcome to Gag of the Millennial. A show where we talk about pop culture, current events. And spill the hot darjeeling right into the octave nerve. Oh, skull in world wash. Oh, into she, the optic nerve. Oh, dear. And yeah. She's dead. in hospital, girl. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. Oh, no, you can't do that now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the NHS. The no. NHS gone, gone but not forgotten. <laughs> It's not funny. No. It's, it's actually really exhausting. Hello. Hello. <laughs> What's the tea? How are you Hello. all doing? How are you, Luxaria? I'm actually very well, although I have a feeling I might get very warm oh, today. Oh, yes. Because it's actually a little bit more warmer. No, recently, see. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, it's warming. Yeah. Um, so today we are back for a requested video that we had. we've done. These, we've done a couple of these. I think we've done two, maybe. Tales from Retail. Yeah, I think we did one. Have we actually done, yeah, we've done before? Two. Yeah, we did like two. I didn't before. even look. Yeah, so we've, we've done a couple of these before, and it's always requested to do another retail I horror story. I thought it was video. just the ones that we'd said, like our personal retail horror oh, we, stories. Oh, no, we've, we've done, we've done, the, we've done the thing. One of these oh ones before. Oh my god! Oh, oh, she, she's not present oh, anymore. No, no, no she, make she, a documentary on me. Yeah, my god. Oh, insane Maybe not. <laughs> woman drinks piss. Should we just get onto it? Yeah, why not? Why not? I mean, I did ask how you are, but you were like, nah. Oh, no, I don't care. Um, no, but before we do start, though, make sure you do hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And if you're listening to this on any of the audio versions, make sure you do give us a nice five star review. Call us Gant. Yes, um, uh, if you receive it via post, then. Oh, please, yeah, fact, um, nice facts. A uh, nice fact. Yeah, 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 there you please. go. The fax machine just makes such a horrible noise. Do you oh, remember awful. them? Do you know, I never saw anyone ever like refill the paper in them either. It's no, like it was a, a ghost portal. paper. Yeah, yeah. A, a 3D printed paper to print on things. Print. Well, very advanced. Yeah, it was, yeah, very, it was very 2002 was very advanced, yeah, a 3D printing. With your pager. Yeah, a Page your fax machine. <laughs> Jesus. Right, anyway. Oh, so lost technology. Gonna, yeah, gonna get locked yeah. on my ploppy. Do you want to go first? So this one is called Your Hair is Satanic. Get me your manager. Oh, I love that. <laughs> okay, yes. I've had this sort of experience. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps. Oh, very how the devil should look. Yes. Cashy checker scan jockey. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> That's my job at a grocery store chain. First, okay. because it's important to the story, I am a stubborn person who insists on having an unnatural hair colour. It's pink. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, is this, did I write yeah, this? Yeah, you wrote this 10 years ago. Yeah. person. <laughs> it is weird and you can look uh, at me all you want, but I don't care. It's just what I wanted. Yeah. And fortunately, the store I work at has no policy against unnatural hair colours, which Lovely. is wonderful. Yeah, like, that's how it should be. Uh, like, my express store yourself, girls. can't relate. In walks who we'll call Bible Girl. Okay. She's a young woman. Probably Bible in, Girl. Bible Girl, yeah. <laughs> Drag yeah. Queen. Drag Queen, yeah. She's a young woman, probably in her mid-30s. Oh, she awful. comes through my lane, notices my hair and bends down to tell her daughter it's okay honey we'll be out of satan lady's eye line soon daughter was like four years old and didn't care i pipe in and say is everything all right ma'am she looks at me and goes your hair is satanic oh what a deeply unwell person end of story no, I'm uh, that, yeah <laughs> wonderful <laughs> At this point, I'm flabbergasted by what I've just heard. I love that word. Maybe I'm uh, flabbergasted. Flabbergasted. Yeah, because it is like... <laughs> it's very that. Very dribbling. Maybe if the colour was red, since Satan is red, right? But it's pink. Someone someone should have informed me of Satan's fabulousness. I was going to say, like, yeah. Satan! Satan <laughs> I don't understand, I respond. Stop talking to me and get your manager. I don't want any of your voodoo curses. Oh I'm God. a single mother and have given my life to the Holy Spirit. Oh, sounds like she's cursed herself. And the thing is, though, like, there's still more. But I'll just say, like, interject with here. Like, you hear stories a bit like this and you always think, oh, they're made up and stuff. But, like, yeah. we've... Like, oh, no, I've been like, around now enough that people get really well, irate when it comes to Oh, my to God. Thing. Wasn't there that woman who was shopping in a Halloween shop in America and she saw a picture of the Grim Reaper or something. She was like, Jesus compels! It's like, you're in like a, a shop. A Calm shop. down. Ridiculous. She then grabs her cross necklace and holds up to me as if it was going to banish me back to the underworld or something. I get my manager. Hi, I'm Joe, on duty manager. What can I help you with, ma'am? And then she replies, I am aware you hired a practicing Satanist. I am aware that this offends me and my daughter. Let uh, me teach you about something called separation <laughs> of church and state. Uh, freedom to practice religion. Even if she was, <laughs> calm down. The manager explains to her that I'm one of his best workers. Uh, and the story just kind of goes on and she gets really angry and then storms out and starts screaming and shouting. Yeah. Um, I fully believe that this would happen. The, the 100%. Ins the insanity that a lot of these like really hardcore religious people have that like anything that is different or unique is mm -hmm. ultimately like almost a, like a, a, a curse or a temptation for their daughters or their children or something like that. Oh no. That red yeah, lipstick. Yeah, no, Luxaria. yeah, it says that something says very naughty. It like, does, well, yeah, it does, doesn't it? I became a total slag. I just don't ever want to deal with these people anymore. Like, the older I get, the more I'm just like, do you know what? 
you can have your little imaginary best friend. Mm-hmm. That's fine. But your practicing religion is your practicing religion. Oh, well, that's the thing, isn't it? It's always, if it's I'm your... on a diet, you don't have to eat what I eat. If your religion tells you how you can move through the world yep. and how you can interact with yourself yep. and how you speak to yourself and how you conduct yourself, that's great. Doesn't tell me what I need to do. Absolutely. So if you are purchasing something from my lane and we just want to get on with it, girls, then you holding up and going, so my girls, Satan girls. And why did she mention voodoo? Absolutely yeah, nothing exactly. to do with with anything. Racism. The thing is, as 100%. well, though, is what I find interesting about these people, they're happy to be in a situation where they will tell you about their religion and God and Jesus and try to do that. But, mm. like, you even just existing, they act as if you're telling them about your existence. Or, like, yeah. you're... And they feel like an affront. It's like, well, like, I'm just wor- I'm just here working. They feel like, like they have something to defend against suddenly. Yeah. It's well, like, well, it's... you're not... You're, madam, you're in Walgreens. You're, you're, in... Not, <laughs> you're not being invaded here. Yeah. Oh, the invasions uh, of Walgreens. Yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> the satanic panic. Attack of the body snatchers I in think, Walgreens. I just, it's absurd. Obscene, isn't it? Absolutely obscene. I was watching a reel the other day by, um, in fact, it actually starred Ricky Gervais, which I, do oh, not, I don't appreciate because he's a deeply transphobic Ooh. man. But he did say something very, very poignant. And it was a way of saying something that I was like, okay, I do kind of agree. But even a broken clock twice. Po- even a broken <laughs> clock dies. <laughs> Is He said, um, so do you believe in Zeus? And this fundamentalist Christian lady was like, no, obviously not. It's not mm. real. The only God is like, well, how you feel about Zeus is how I feel about your God. And I was like, do you know what? Easiest way of saying well, yeah, it. Yeah, that is That's true. exactly yeah, how that I feel. True. I'm just yeah. like, you can have all your little beliefs. That's fine. If it makes your life easier to cope with. Because, you know, it is difficult being mm. alive. Is, oh, it's hard. Oh, it's yeah, hard it's work hard. Yeah. being alive. If it helps you, it helps you. It's not going to help me. So no. please don't talk to me about well, that. Well, that. that was always my biggest thing when it comes to religion. It's like, but... You're like, how do you justify all these other religions? Are you just saying everyone else is wrong and not me? But that's yeah, that is that how is, is your ego that big that well, I know. I'm the right one and you're wrong. I know, I know. And the the very the very fact that it, according to everyone's religion, everyone who doesn't believe is going to like hell. Yeah. Then technically everyone on the planet is going to hell. And that's yeah, like all well, that I, we I can cope get, with. I don't get how you justify that. You know that like uncontacted tribe that's I think it's in the Indian Ocean. I, think I know, it's on I know an what you're talking about. And there I was that Christian who had to go and like spread the word of Jesus and they just executed him. Mm. I do think like, so do they think that that tribe is just going to hell? Yeah, like if this is because something... they've not heard the word. Yeah, I don't understand how they justify it. I think that about Westway Baptist Church. Like, there's what members maybe I don't know how many members they have. Maybe a hundred, hundred members, and they believe what they believe is the right way to live life and everything. And, it's like, and so they think every other so Christian is wrong. Yeah. So you, so you think only you one hundred people are going to have salvation, and everyone else is going to go to hell? Yeah. Like, how do you justify? Oh yes, God only wants us one hundred people. Like, I don't understand. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't get it either. I really don't get it. But yeah. taking it back to this story. People that just like come in and create a problem out of nothing like that. Could, like, okay, if you were gonna lean down to your child and be like, "It's okay, Jessica, we wa- Jessica out." Just- <laughs> <laughs> or she is going to. Oh help. well, yeah, maybe. Yeah, oh, Je- little Jessica is so all right. We'll be out of her li- eye line soon. Like, the child you probably, there was engaging. no eye line. The child was too small. Exactly, but you engaging in this situation has like elongated how uncomfortable you're going to be. If you'd have just been like, "Okay, thank you for scanning, bye." Yeah, that would have been so much faster, and yeah. nobody would have even bat- yeah. batted an eyelid about it. The whole thing about Jesus. Uh, Jesus and God was like tolerance and like, acceptance and love and whatever. So technically, even if you disagree with this girl's having pink hair because it's satanistic or whatever, you're supposed to just ignore them and be like, okay, this person's there. You're not supposed to actually then start... What about love rude? thy neighbor? Yeah, no, no, no. Unless you do it like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love everyone around you, respect everyone, except if it's like that. Yeah, no, see, it's I don't very like that. It. It's scum, it's scum, 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 yeah. scum, scum, not scum, scum. This one is called, how dare you not help me when you're not on the clock? Oh dear. Clock. Time to die. This happened Saturday afternoon, busiest day of the week. After my 30 minute lunch break, I came back inside the building, went to the back room to drop off my bag and then back to the register to clock back in and resume my shift. I'm not wearing a name tag or a walkie talkie or a store's uniform. Nope. That's not true. I'm not wearing a name tag or a (laughs) walkie talkie. (laughs) And our store's uniform is red, blue or green and with dark jeans. So while I'm in the uniform, I wouldn't say it's easily identify- identifiable. However, I must still be quite official looking because on my way back to the register, a woman asked me if I worked there. And being honest, I told her yes. However, I wasn't on the clock yet and I couldn't help her with whatever she needed until I clocked in. She muttered something under her breath, but did follow me to the register where two of my coworkers who were actually on the clock were there. 
The register was being used, so it took me a second longer before I was able to clock in. Meanwhile, the woman spoke to my co-worker, who happened to be one of my managers, and just wanted to let her know how I refused to answer her question until I was on the clock. Oh, God. Love that customers now expect me to do my job for free, especially since there were at least four other employees in the store who were all on the clock and, av and available to help. Maybe you like to do your work without being compensated for it, but I'm not going to... Lead you around the store without getting paid first. Mm -hmm. Completely agree. So, I i mean, I had this happen many times. The, Me so, too. I've got so a couple of stories. My problem with my store, this is more so when I worked in Devon still, because it was a small place, of course, it was easier for people to recognize that you worked there. Yeah. And like, the amount of times that I was in the shop, just because we had quite a strict uniform as well. So, like, you, yeah. you would never miss, you never go, oh, that person clearly works here. Yeah. Like, there was a very. Like, um, we're at Tesco right now. Yeah, exactly. That, hello, we're at Tesco. Yeah. I'm a Tesco employee. Hello, hello, hello I am. Hello, Tesco. yeah, the milk's in my pussy, girls. Um, so. I'm going to write you up for that. <laughs> no, I would be in there, my normal clothes. And the amount of people that just come up to me, like, when I was just dressed as a regular person, just doing my own shopping, getting like, yeah, I know, yeah, you work here, don't you? Yeah, where's this? And I'm like, can you, like, there is people around, like, go yeah. and ask someone else, like, off. Yeah. Like, I, like I get that people aren't actually trying to be assholes, but just a tiny it's bit of like critical thinking and common sense. Goes, it's entitled yeah. because it's like, oh, you're in the shop that you work in, therefore I'm entitled to actually speak at you yeah. as if you know what you're yeah. like. You're on the job, and it's like, no, I'm I'm like in my jeans and my like t-shirt just like shopping for my own things i mm. don't want to be working right now mm -hmm. there are there are many staff the shop isn't empty yeah. like, and we had a small store there are people like, like you can see people in your eyesight like go ask actually we were working here yeah stop and, like, bothering me yeah stop I, I, it that, don't that, talk to don't, me don't, don't talk to me don't look at me don't even <laughs> look don't even breathe near me i used to work in a body piercing and jewelry shop a long time ago in brighton and they kind of broke the law actually thinking about it now so i was I would work various days throughout the week whilst I was in college. What basically whatever sort of like time extra time I had, I would spend there just like earning a bit of extra money. And so some of these days would be full days, but we didn't have paid lunch breaks. We didn't even have lunch break time really. We had to go get our food and then like sit in the back and eat. But if like a customer oh. needed our help, we'd have to get up and help them because there was nowhere in the shop to go. Yeah, there it was just like behind a little desk and then like you could see you'd just be like sat down there was nowhere oh. there was no like off to the side or back room or anything like I that thought, i thought surely a shop needs some it's kind of illegal yeah. it is actually illegal but this is we're talking like 2006 2007 so i don't think it was really as like serious as yeah. it would be now yeah but the amount of times i would literally be like eating a bowl of like tofu katsu curry or something and someone would be like staring like just sort of waiting at the desk, like looking at me. And then they'd be like, oh, sorry, I can see that you're, but can you help me? And I'd be like, you've just said sorry to interrupting my lunch, but you still want my help. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting paid for this, no. So I would sometimes just be like, just stand and like look at the wall. And they'd be like, excuse me. I'd be like, no, no, no meeting. As if just to be like, don't make eye contact with me. I'm currently having my lunch. Surely there was another staff member there. Like you're not yeah, the only yeah, person uh, working yeah, Could there. you imagine? Yeah, I'd be like, I'm actually on lunch and the shop is closed. <laughs> like, no, we're not doing that. Ever since I've worked in retail, I do have a lot more like patience with people who are in retail as well. I think you kind of just oh, have to. Yeah, because it's, it's like retail is kind of like hell. <laughs> it's kind of like yeah. hell, really. I find it very rare to find someone who likes their retail job. Yeah. I do think if it's maybe a shop that you own yourself and you really like, because I think yeah. when you want to be your own, when it's your own business, I think people's mindsets are slightly different. Yeah. But like when you're someone who works for like a shop, like a, a, like chain. a chain or yeah. something, like I can't, no one really liked the job. I was still the kind of person that was like, well, I'm in a shit situation because I hate this job, but I'm still trying to make the best that I possibly can. So yeah. I, always, I was always, people used to say to me all the time, how are you so happy? And I'm like, well, what do you want me to do? I, yeah, like, I what do, do you want yeah. me to be like? I think there is, a, there's an expectation of like that artificial service happiness. Yeah. You, know, like, you have a customer service voice, you have a customer service attitude. I do, however, feel, I understand why maybe nowadays people are less and less enjoying their retail yeah, yeah. jobs because realistically, wages haven't gone up. You can't buy anything now on a retail Retail job. Whereas my auntie, she worked for Boots for literally her entire career. It was the first job she got and she retired at Boots. And she was like, I love my retail job. I love it so much. But she started working like the 70s when you could literally buy a five bedroom house on a part time job. Nowadays, you just get spat at. <laughs> I'd like to buy this house. <laughs> uh, how dare you? Yeah. You're too poverty. How dare you? <laughs> so this is Chords. We closed several hours ago, but customer muscled their way through the front doors to be served. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> there was quite a lot of night staff uh, relentlessly rushing around the store as we finished for the evening. Mm -hmm. A small handful uh, of people were left in. They left 
you know, we're at the end of the day, yeah. people still sort of linger around the stores, yeah. like, come and on, we're closed. Like, yeah. Let's go, go. So Mary. This, so this person works in the store. This was happening. They were trying to show, show everyone out. This is a few hours later now. We've been closed for a few hours at this point. I was in the new department computer section going over the new stock. Okay. When I see someone approaching the, in the foreground, I look up expecting to see a staff member. Yeah. Instead, it was a very, <laughs> well, I'm going to reword what they've said as well. Okay, right. <laughs> it was a large person. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, Sometimes okay, the wordings yeah. that people use uh, aren't yeah. the friendliest no, ways. No, they're not influencers, no. are they? No. So it was someone who was a rather large person. This woman uttered under her breath, can you please serve me this item? Okay. I was really confused at this point because yeah. we'd already been closed for several hours. Yeah. She looked rather, rather disheveled. Um, she looked lost. rather disheveled and a bit lost, but a Poor bit lost, thing. yes. But I explained to her, I'm not really too sure how you're here because we closed several hours ago. Mm -hmm. She said that the doors were open. I took a better part of the minute to walk down the aisle to look where the, uh, where the CCTV was to see what happened and mm -hmm. see if she came into the store. Though she wasn't technically lying, the store was quite clearly still closed. Mm -hmm. The doors were what could be only described as an half an inch open. Okay. And in the CCTV, it looks like she had gone up to the door and pushed her way through the door by forcing them open. Now these doors, yeah. unless you actually lock them, unless you walk into a store, if, unless you do lock them, you can push them in for yeah. security and health yeah. reasons. But yeah. like, you still need to give them like, a shove. A yeah. good shove to she shove She broke a window through. and climbed in and went, why aren't you open? Why aren't you open? <laughs> I go back to her and explain that the, the store is quite clearly closed and yeah. we've looked at the CCTV yeah. and you have barged your way through the door. She refused to accept that this was actually what happened. <laughs> <laughs> uh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Sure. So, but how did I get into the store then if you were closed? The front door was ever so slightly open, ma'am, and you've clearly pushed your way I, through. You know, when people do this, when they're like, well, how have I done all this? Yeah, how, I'm like, I don't know. How have you done that? How That's have you done that? Odd, so, they're yeah. like, try and use that as a reason. I'm like, yeah, but you are the arbiter of your own fate. Absolutely. Like, exactly. You're not a puppet. Well, I'm here now and you can serve me. This is the item I want. I explained to her that the tills are off and cannot be activated, which is true. Like a lot yeah, of the time. Yeah, absolutely. And even you can't like, sell out. It's, li it's law. It's law. Yeah, because it's trading train, train laws. And like, even like, because our store, we stopped doing it eventually because people get so irate, but you would allow people to come in like half an hour before we'd open in the mm -hmm. morning so they can get. Well, Trading want. times, yeah, and they would, and they would yeah. get ready. And sometimes they throw throw an absolute throw an fit because you can't serve them absolutely. until a certain time on but Sunday. Like, trading the time, the till yeah, weird. couldn't even like it was like frozen. I couldn't do anything on it. But the woman insisted that you can still serve me. But also, this woman doesn't know if this woman work, actually works in the till. What if she is just like a stock person who's just... Yeah, maybe she's... Yeah, because we would have people go around the store. Yeah, and they, they yeah. weren't allowed to, like, use the till. They didn't have yeah, a till code. if it was, like, an independent seller, we have some of like, beauty products that are, like, not yeah. from our store. And they had their own person that would come yeah. in. A bit like an Avon lady. They'd come yeah. in and be like, we'd like to buy some of these things from our company. And then would leave and check their stock in the place. Yeah. But they had nothing to do with the store itself. Yep. I was told that I could still operate the cashier, apparently which was not true. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. So the woman was uh, complaining that she'd already gone this far into the stopped store to get her item and that I should serve her anyway. And I keep trying to explain to her that the tills will not work. I then yeah. go and get my actual manager who was still here. Sometimes they leave early depending on what we're doing in the day. But luckily for me, she was still there. So I went to get a manager and the manager came over and basically explained the same thing. She waddles off oh, in God. a very angry manner <laughs> Barging her way back through the doors out in a really angry tone, shouting, I can't believe you would do this to me. This is outrageous. I can't believe and you've done this. I've kind of busted the story. It was like a very long yeah. story. I didn't realize how long it was when I no. started. Then as I was going, I was like, oh. Uh, too much. Essentially, yeah. The woman barges her way into the store, gets angry that the person won't serve her, storms off again, barging her way back through the outside doors. Like... The thing that I don't get with these sorts of situations that we see quite often is that the person that's in the wrong will never accept that, like, what they're being told is real. And yeah, it's I don't like, get it. If I say to you, the tills are locked and I cannot access them, mm. and they go, yes, you can. Yeah. That doesn't change what I've just told you. I'll be like, yeah. oh, sorry, yeah, you are actually right. Um, I have been lying to you. Yeah. It's like uh, they're trying to have a gotcha moment. And well, it's especially like for the fact that, like, the way that you had to enter the store was also incredibly difficult. Yeah. It wasn't like the door just like- They weren't inviting you in. I, was, I not, Even if I didn't work in retail, I could not imagine myself going up to a store, seeing the door like this much open, like completely closed out like the sliding doors. Also context clues. What is everyone else doing yeah, in the where, shop? Like, is, yeah. it, is, it, is, it, is it busy? Is it busy? Is the car park empty? Because normally if, if a shop's closed, the car park for that shop is normally quite they closed They often well. turn off the lights at the front of the store as well. Absolutely. So, yeah. And like the fact that you would see the doors ajar tiny bit, and like 
the fact that it didn't open automatically. Yeah. So you have to physically like pull shove. the doors apart and then shove yourself through it. And a lot of supermarkets were like, oh, our ones had like two. Because like mm. you would go through one mm. and there was like the trolleys and then you would go through the other ones mm-hmm. to go through the store. A lot of stores will have this, especially like the Tesco near yeah. us has it as yeah, well. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. even, even actually saying that even the, the d- department store that we have, the Curry's near us has the two door system as yeah, well. Yeah, that's true. So you have to force yourself through it. The shop is empty. It's probably because as well, once we cl- once we closed the store, like half the lights were turned off as well mm-hmm, to conserve energy mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because we didn't need all the store lights on for no reason. But then you're still like, I'm going to buy this. The idea that she was also like a bit disheveled means that she was probably there. Well, it was like a few hours, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, so like she's obviously a, like come in and been like... <laughs> a few hours, oh, I don't know, like... I do feel like pay attention to what's around you. Like be yeah. a bit more self-aware. But then you were like, even after being told this, you're still like throwing a hissy fit like a Karen and being like... I can't believe you like. I you, can't believe you've personally done this to me. And the fact that you would be like, I was told you can still have the the the, the tills open by someone it's else. Like, it's but like, no one in the store would have said that to you. Yeah, exactly. No, no one working in that store would have known. Oh, you can still buy things, even yeah. though the store was closed hours ago. That sounds like someone has made a little fibble to try and yeah, cover to try, themselves. Like, like, yeah, I don't understand what weird because I mean we would sometimes have people try to come into the store when we're closed mm. but like you would just tell them it was closed and then they would leave the idea that you need to be like when someone says to you the store is closed and even then you're still going but I'm here now so you can serve me you were not already in the store no we've seen you we've checked the CCTV and you've barged you've broke away in in <laughs> like it's like they, you're, you're, they can convince you yeah that's my it. spell yeah, like, <laughs> oh but what if I say these magic yeah, exactly. words then you have to go oh Sorry, you've caught me. Yeah, lying. Like, if you've never worked in retail, I guess you don't understand the concept of, like, cashing up at the end yeah, of the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Like, every single till has to have a float in it so that it always has the same amount of money so yeah. that there's always, like, room to give people change for the first customers mm-hmm. or anything like that. And it's, like, all of these things are, like, meticulously planned and then you have to write all these, any amount of, like, missing numbers yeah. or anything yeah. and put them into, I don't know, back when I worked, first started working in retail, we had actually the shoots that you would put into the little oh, eggs. Oh, we, we had the shoots Off as they well, would go yeah. somewhere and then you'd have to like cash up and write something and then leave a little note for the next people like there's there is no oh just quickly like no that's no not, no no it no, doesn't no. happen odd. yeah because odd, every, odd, odd, every odd. single evening for security purposes what we'd have to do we'd take all the notes out mm-hmm. and put it into little egg machines and then someone from like the the cash op like cash the cash office, office would yeah. come and collect every single till mm-hmm. and remove them and put them into like the safe place uh for ever so for security reasons so yeah there is you can't just like suddenly buy something on the machine because essentially like there's actually nothing there you've yeah. actually taken everything away from yeah. the, the till that makes yeah. it like a till yeah because you can't even access like the card it's machine just, at that it's point it's a skeleton at that yeah, point it's a skeleton. yeah so to be like you can still i don't know i feel like this is obviously ego and entitlement being like well i want this therefore you will open for me absolutely this one is my called, little pony my little wig is called you're not selling it that to me because i stole no that's not correct at all right Okay, so I work in a store that has a lot of thefts. Calling security is never an option because they take 10 minutes to arrive. Oh, relatable. Even, exactly that. Even when there was a fight at the registers and it ended up requiring police and multiple ambulances, they just took ages to arrive. Because of this, people get away with a lot of things. To the point there's a recurring customer who's stolen more than he's ever bought. God, this okay. isn't that customer, but the other week I was serving a customer who asked to take the cash off his EFT POS card. I'm not sure what that is. No. EFT card, I'm not sure. EFT. Estrogen female transsexual <laughs> <laughs> not a big deal but it failed so many times he tried to cancel the order and just walked out whilst i cancelled the order that's when i realized he'd also took the entirety of his cart all of about 50 dollars of deli meat and of course i knew it was going to i knew i was going to get written up if i let this happen and just mark it as a loss at least we know what he was taking a few hours later he came through again this time his order was about 400 dollars full of a lot of premium silverware cosmetics and such like he wanted to cash out on the same card i saw as before i said sure why not and i put his groceries to the side so he wasn't in arm's reach of it before continuing instead of using his card he immediately asked why i had moved the things out of his reach and why i was moving his bags and I told him that I was looking to clean this area whilst I was finalizing the purchase. Oh, liar. I know. A lie, but I couldn't to tell him. But I couldn't I tell him. No, I know. I don't know what's happening today. Yeah. A lie, but I couldn't tell him that I suspected he was a thief. Oh. I didn't even mention the previous shop, but he immediately started yelling at me to give him his bags and that I was refusing to sell to him because he stole earlier, which I hadn't actually mentioned before, so he wrote his own check. 
I took a f it took a few minutes for the manager to arrive, taking over the man's shop. Turns out his card still didn't work, and with a huff, he just left. So I got two write-ups that day, one for the $50 loss and the other for suspecting a thief. But I got praised by loss prevention, so it was a roller coaster. Of but a then day. he was also fired. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, though, this I feel like is so common. When I worked at retail, if you ever had a problem, you were told, don't ever call security. Oh, yeah. Just let them do it. Just like walk away. I remember when I worked at, I think I even shared this story, worked at famous international makeup brand and we were on a counter and one day apparently this lady had just come in and cleaned out one of the like stock drawers and no one had seen her none of the security that were right at the door where it was and none of the cameras caught her either and they so it might have been a man but we're just suspecting because most of the clientele was women yeah that this was a woman who stole it we were just like flabbergasted well i i i, I don't care enough at my job when i worked in retail like that woman who has, like basically assaulted me because i didn't want to steal you're bags. not paid enough i was like i'm sorry i, I don't give a like I'm not paid enough to deal with like thieves and things like if yeah. you want to steal just steal that's the whole point like, you have security yeah. surely so half the time like because we would do the same thing like the security was so awful yeah. that like most of the time they wouldn't actually do anything anyway and then they would go oh well, we're not supposed to chase them so why are you here yeah like, why are you here why are you actually here because you don't actually do anything a lot Stressful, of it is more of like a, a, a show to be like we it, have security to be honest it's do probably anything. for insurance purposes mm -hmm. like I bet you companies can get reimbursed from their stock that goes missing but they have to prove that there was in fact security there or something. Yeah. I wonder if it's maybe just all all an insurance. Uh, oh, money laundering. Money laundering. Launder that money. Put it in your laundry, mm -hmm. girls. By the way, if you're uh, new here and you don't know who we are, we both have worked in retail. Yes. Many like for many years. Across, so where well, I've worked in like a handful of different types of yeah. retail as well. It's just, so I I wasn't paid enough to fight people on never. like stealing little random things. Just let never. them take it. Let the police involve if they really like if that's how far they want to go. Yeah. But also like again, the companies would have insurance anyway, so I'm sure they'll get a lot of the money back if what is stolen anyway. Mm -hmm. So. The fact that the person was like, I stole earlier on. Yeah, that, that, it's the brazen <laughs> cheek, isn't it? Because clearly if you, this is the thing though. I feel like companies are a bit, because they're being so laxadaisical and they're not investing. Laxatives. In enough, yeah, it, the, because they're being very laxative. <laughs> they're not investing enough in security and stuff. There are people that will multiply do this and be like, oh, I know that that shop's the place to go to get all this from because no oh, one's going to do anything. Once the around that your yeah. shop's a bit shit. Especially like, in like yeah. the unscrupulous community. Yeah. Like they speak and especially now with social media, I'm sure they even have like secret groups where they're like, this go here at this place. time and yeah. we know that they're all like on lunch or something. Oh yeah, once you start knowing someone's like a shop, like if it's a smaller shop, you get to kind of like member people's rotors and who's there. Even the shop, my friend Maxine, one of her parties that we had at her house, there was a shop, there was a corner shop around her house who would sell you alcohol. If oh yeah, had, like, get, get served. And like we would get served alcohol all the time when we should not have been getting got oh, served. Same, yeah, yeah, same. It's like a 14, 15 year old naughty child. Been like, oh, WKC blue, please. Yeah, I'll have a strong bird and some Ribena. Yeah, Caribbean twist. Oh yes, mm, loved it. I loved a Caribbean twist. Oh. I, there was, I'm pretty sure there was a, a pina colada one. It was delicious. I was a cherry lambrini kind was of it? girl, or even a lambrusco. Oh, oh no, not a lambrusco. That's even worse. When you didn't have enough money for lambrini, you went for a lambrusco. I always think. I always like think of my earlier days of drinking and things, and going that when we would buy like the Tesco value vodka, and it's like oh. the worst thing because we, as kids, we're like, let's just get drunk. It's fun. Yeah. Because we're actually like trying to enjoy the alcohol. We were we were drinking it for the high. Uh, absolutely. So like whereas now I love a cocktail. I love all the fruity flavours but like and then, I don't even drink anymore no, boring old lady don't miss it that's a drinking culture in the UK though drinking up like getting drunk in the park was like almost like seen as a rite yeah, of passage yeah like, absolutely it was it was beach parties because for us in Brighton that's the thing it wasn't even like a division between like popular or not popular kids like everyone, everyone just, everyone just kind of did it and like maybe not where you are but at least where we were from like all the kids regardless of what place you were in the social status you all had a group of friends you would sit in the park with and get drunk with yeah, 100%. drinking awful alcohol we used to it was like all the emos and goth kids used to go down to the beach parties and there was like a kind of skate park where the chavs and the uh, chavs and skaters would sort of hang out and we used to have wars oh throw stones at each other <laughs> oh, like the good old days. and then we'd all get drunk and kiss <laughs> i'm not even joking that is exactly what would happen the amount of oh. skater boys that would come down and be like mm. Would I, you like to see my ass butt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, I've never done this before. <laughs> oh, God. Ridiculous. Oh, they fully have. They, oh, they've exactly. forgotten that the week before. You've yeah. also sucked them up. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> that. I wonder what they're all doing now. Rotting. All dead. All, all rotting mm -hmm. with eight children. This is called, You're Giving Me Cancer. Oh, God. Right, okay. So this story is from my summer amusement park job. I've worked retail for a couple of years and was going to school, but most uh, of the stories happened during this three-month job in 
the amusement park. For background, we have stamp system in order to leave the park and return in the same day. Okay. The stamps are UV and have uh, and have changed a couple times in the week to make sure that no one is cheating the system, which yes. makes sense. Yeah. I guess the, the signs change. Since the stamps are only visible under UV light, they're invisible, which is shocking and confusing to about 60% of the customers. People were often asking things like, why can't I see it? You missed me. You ran out of ink. Stamp me again. It didn't show up. I think they don't want to get scammed. I think yeah, like a yeah, handful of people don't yeah. understand and are like, yeah. no, you're stealing. And the thing as well, them doing that so you can't see the stamp changing really shows that like, clearly it was an issue that needed to happen. Yeah, yeah. Um, cut to... A woman we're going to be referring as to is Angry Lady. Angry Lady. Angry Lady. Oh. Slag. <laughs> Angry Slag. Oh, I think you missed me. Do you mind stamping me again? Sure, no problem. That's actually an ultraviolet stamp though, so you won't be able to see it right now, but it'll be visible when you enter the park again. No, you keep missing me. Look, you cannot see it. Your pad must be dry. No, as I said, it is a UV and you will not be able to see it until I shine a light over it. Mm -hmm. Stop talking back to me. I don't like it. I'm sorry you think that I'm talking back to you. Here, I'll show you where we've stamped you correctly. Stop talking back to me. <laughs> that basically just means shut up whilst I yell at you. Essentially. So I took out the small V flashlight that we used inside the station. So I shined it over her and you could see two stamps that I've put on her glowing. She then proceeds to freak the F out. Oh God. <laughs> and in a long, high-pitched scream, <laughs> shouted... <laughs> Oh God! What on earth you effing tattooed me? Oh, I tattooed did. Me. I did wonder if maybe she thought that had happened or something. Doesn't this stuff give you cancer? I didn't consent to this. At this point, she's hyperventilating and caught the attention of my manager, who heads over quite quickly with the "What the f is going on?" look on his face. I was kind of frozen in place. I'm unable to respond to her in shock. Is everything okay, ma'am? The manager says. This girl has tattooed me against my will. What does this establishment use neon? Why no? Why does this establishment use neon? It's cut on neon on its customers without asking. It's a health violation. It's not neon, but sure. I assure you, ma'am, the ink we use doesn't have neon in it, and it's tested and it's harmless. Take me to customer services. So after about forty <laughs> minutes of whatever the hell she was arguing with customer services about, she comes barreling towards me at the exit again, face red as a tomato, scrunched up in a nasty expression. I was tempted to ask if she wanted a stamp, but I really. Didn't want to be yelled at again. I'm never coming back to this park and I'm boycotting it. I'll be telling all of my friends about it. I'm my never shopping at BHS again. My co-workers named the cancer, came, named me the cancer giving, cancer giver for the remainder of the three weeks God, I worked there. How awful. Oh, it's, again, it's these insufferable people that think that something is happening and they've just become insufferable again. Yeah, like, Do you, you remember really that think... story we read about the woman who was like, I don't want my food to be touched by lasers? Yeah, uh, Whilst yes. trying to check out of a shop. Stupid. Like, grow up. The thing is as well, is like, you really Wait, think you this, hear about this, the processing? this, like, famous water park is just going to be using dangerous UV ink? Yeah. Uranium. Uranium. Well, Uranium. Yeah. And the, the, the stupid thing about it as well, I don't know how easy like UV washes off your skin or whatever, but like if you're in a water park and you're stamping going in and out and things, like maybe they want to use that ink because it like stays on the skin easier. So it's not yeah. like, constantly coming off as yeah. you're going in and out the pool. It's got to be a, um, like a loss prevention tactic, hasn't it really? Yeah. Although I don't think, have you ever been stamped with UV anywhere? I don't think I've had it I once. Have. One time it was a club did it once. I, I want to say that, I can sort of imagine putting my hand in the little scanner, mm -hmm. but I'm also like, is the I just imagine that because I do my nails and that's UV all the time. <laughs> no, like, I've, I've had it one, I can't remember where it was now, but I've, I have had it once. It was like a club. Um, oh, grow up. But the thing is, you would say, oh, you tattooed me against my will. Do you not know what a tattoo is, you stupid bitch? Yeah, well, clearly not. not she clearly doesn't know not. what UV is. Like, She's probably like, oh my God. Imagine if tattoos were like that. Please, I'd be covered, painless. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just deranged. Absolutely <laughs> deranged. No time at all for that. It's the fact also, the entitlement of like, don't talk back to me. Don't, yeah, don't talk like, back to me. Yeah. She's trying to explain the situation. Don't. Don't. I don't want to learn. I don't, I don't want to understand. I want to remain stupid and angry. I want to have gum tissue. I want your gum yeah, tissue. Yeah, I don't understand like why. Obviously, clearly she had been shown up when she comes back with red face and disgruntled. Yeah, maybe the thing is that she like tried to be a sneaky naughty. Maybe she was trying to make this situation so that she could have like an alternative stamp and then like clone it and come back. Oh, maybe. It maybe could she. Be, yeah, it could maybe be. it was just like her being like, oh, "How dare you? Why yeah. haven't you asked?" Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I, I, I always wonder with that kind of stuff. Is like, what, what, what are you trying to actually get? What are you trying to situation? hide? Why are you so once, irate? Yeah. yeah, because once someone has explained it to you, why are you then still angry? You could have easily been yeah. like, oh, what's going on? But then the fact that you like freak out 
and the person goes, well, no, that's actually completely safe. And even you, you don't, don't believe them. Like the, 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 the company is not going to be stamping you with like chemicals that are going to burn in your skin. Like, and if they are, everyone around you would have been like, oh, don't do that. Yeah, exactly. And if there's no one else around you making a fuss as well. And the person's telling you this, maybe for a second go, maybe they know what they're talking about. Yeah, maybe. Maybe Also, maybe don't yell at this like, what was she, 16? They 16? They were a young person, weren't yeah, they, they? There was no age. But Just I like, think they, oh. they, they are. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure they're a Oh, young it's person. exhausting. Yeah. Don't talk to me. I've got goiter. Don't. This one is called, this is a toy shop, not a post office. Oh, dear. It was a busy Saturday and I was one of two people behind the till. A woman came into my shop and came directly up to the tills, pointed at me and said, I want you to help me. This encounter automatically felt a bit rude and patronising, but I still came out from behind the till. Oh, she came out. I, oh, she did, yeah, lesbian. <laughs> and was smiling politely and I asked her what she could use help with. The woman proceeded to ignore this question and simply turned around and walked towards a Lego, the Lego section. So I followed her, but I could already tell this is going to be a difficult customer. Mm. Isn't it funny how you develop that, like... You're like, this is going to be a Oh, you, they, have, they fully have an awe around yeah, them. Yeah, you're just like, oh, here we go, girls. Yeah. And like sometimes if you, if you were not feeling like doing it, you'd be like, I'm actually really busy doing this. So, oh, Kathy, come yeah, and help me. Uh, I'm about to go. Yeah. Actually, I've got I, diarrhea. Yeah, I, actually, yeah. I have to leave. Yeah, sorry. I'm busy. Yeah. I'm late for my death. Yeah. <laughs> Very that. <laughs> Once we arrived at the Lego section, she told me to hold out my hand. Mm. If you ever said hold this to your me. Pussy. Yeah, if someone, if I was at my, where, like my last retail job and someone was like, hold out your hands, I'd be like, Absolutely not. No. You're going to put something disgusting yeah. there. As she proceeded to hand me the four most expensive Lego shet, Lego sets, Lego sets that the shop sold. That was a tongue twister. It was Lego it. sets. How much Lego sets? Lego sets. Lego, 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 Lego sets. Then without conversing, she walked straight back to the checkouts while I followed carrying the items. As I was scanning the items through the till, I could feel her staring right at me, but I could tell she was not someone who would have appreciated polite small talk, so I just got on with it. So I beat her. Yeah. <laughs> I actually <laughs> threw the Lego at her. After I scanned through her items, she refused a bag, which I thought was a little bit odd, as these Lego sets were quite big, and I could see that she wasn't going to be able to carry them. Okay. Her total sum was £496. However, she refused to pay me until she had seen the receipt which I told her multiple times was not possible until you've actually paid I and want to know processed. that the money's gone through without actually giving you the money yeah <laughs> how odd yeah after explaining multiple times the ins and outs of any sort of transaction and that the payment comes before the receipt she eventually accepted defeat and paid for the items however as soon as the transaction was complete she told me she wanted these items to be sent to London tomorrow um, I think this... she didn't want a receipt she wanted an invoice yeah. I think this is like a businesswoman who is perhaps Perhaps not from the UK and is I just it, expecting it, things to be different. It might not even be that. Sometimes that like, you think about Richie Sunak when he went to go like the shops and how he was like using that hammer and all that stuff. Yeah, that's I think true. Some, sometimes if you're really rich and you don't have to deal with like the pub people, no idea like, I think how sometimes things work. Sometimes they get so out of detached from reality that they might. They, she probably thought that like, of course they will send these yeah. Lego sets somewhere. Yeah, like, obscene i very confused began to explain to her that we we don't do that that doesn't mm. exist and if you want to send these to london you'll have to go and do it on your own separately i also gave her the option that she could order the same products online and have them delivered to london but that that was all she could do as you can imagine she was most unhappy with my response and demanded an immediate refund once the refund was settled i apologized for any inconvenience and she stormed out without saying a word yeah i think that's just someone who's out of touch yeah oh i don't know what's happening so I just send it to my home oh yeah i don't get know. my butler get my pussy very that yeah i'm not sure i've never had to deal with a situation like that thank no goodness. i know I how I'm, i would cope i've had people confused about like the chip and pin machine sometimes but that's as close oh, as oh I had one uh, some woman be like is that email is that email like, no yeah, this yeah. is a chip and pin machine if I can't explain that to you die yeah Awful. I don't I don't know how you would even go around how would you even explain to someone that like this isn't a, a, that's like, not what this is this is not yeah. an on, this is not an online store like what there must be places you can buy and then have it delivered to well because your sometimes home? like curry is a tech store you can you can go in and be like I want this delivered to my house but that's because it's like a washing machine yeah so of yeah. course they deliver it but like like just a toy store. They're not going to sell Lego sets and send them Maybe out. Maybe they you. do somewhere else in the world, and it's just not a UK thing. But also, that seems excessively like unnecessary. Yeah, I don't that know. feels like a premium luxury service that you would expect to pay for as yeah. well. Not just be like, I want them delivered to London. Like maybe a John Lewis would like send a maybe a handbag. Some I don't know. Like yeah, maybe if it was like fancy designer clothes. I don't know. Yeah, that's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? 
Pl- oh, I don't know. Yeah, we'll, out throw of the, touch. we'll throw this out to you. Yeah, is there any like are you out of, kind of touch? Yeah, yeah, out of touch. <laughs> now we're not talking about like really expensive bouge- bougies places. Like if this is just Lego sets, it can't be like too. This is also like a small store. Yeah, this isn't like in Harrods or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. So like. Is anywhere that you know would do something like that? Because I've never known anyone to have like an in-store postal service that you just buy. I mean, buy the... I guess maybe Harrods probably does. They like, probably have well, a personal ex- shopping excluding service. Excluding these kind of like maybe, so maybe this person just like so used so wealthy that they're like, they don't. They assume that everywhere they shop is just Harrods. Yeah, they're like, hey, this, this is a corner store. <laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> like, that. You're buying you bubble gum. Yeah. <laughs> so this is called. She's having a seizure. Can I've you... got this one. I've you. got oh. this one. You do it. Why do you have to steal my ideas? Because we get them from the same subreddit. <laughs> <laughs> Not much of a backstory. No. I'm my size Asia. Urie. My oh size dear. Urie. I'm allowed this one because my I, size I Urie actually summer. had epilepsy. Yeah. Not much of a backstory, as you probably can guess from the title. I'm epileptic and have seizures. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, my store was super understanding of my disability and did everything to help me. Well, this is a mix to by law, don't they? Yeah, they can't, well. be, they can't they're not be like, like, oh, thank no, you. Like, no, there's legal requirement. This is a mixture of what I remember. There was only one register in the store where you can get cigarettes, lighters, certain uh, certain more expensive liquor, yeah. etc. Like a kiosk. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's yeah. just normal in every store, I guess. A kiosk in a supermarket. Yeah. I happen to be what the one working the, re- the register that day. Everything was going completely fine and the usual customer band her when the aura hits me mm. and it hits me hard. Oh. For those who are unfamiliar, the aura is kind of a warning sign before a seizure that only you can feel, but you can do nothing about it. If it you could have a be... service dog, they also pick up on mm-hmm. that and they're like, sit on the floor! Bark! It could be a funny smell, hallucinations, the feeling of slipping out of reality, a number of different things. Anyway, for me, this time, it was the feeling that everything was moving in slow motion. Ooh. The last thing I remember was scanning a box of golf balls golf balls Ooh. and the customer requesting Marlboro gold then realizing everything was freezing in place I heard this right before I blacked out man looking at me hello 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 what the hell is wrong with you I said I wanted a box of Marlboro gold are you even listening to me I can't believe this Marlboro gold do you, do you even know what that is are you an idiot God, because I guess like the spaced out moment before yeah she's probably just like staring at the person maybe yeah. and he was like Maybe thinking, oh, is there something wrong? Instead of going, oh. I would automatically, my brain would go to something is wrong here rather than being like, someone's being difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was gone. I woke up on the floor surrounded by my managers. One customer's awesome enough to jump over the counter oh, <laughs> and steal everything yeah. and uh, help me. From what I understand, the whole time I was on the floor having a seizure, the customer in line who was waiting for the Melrose would constantly bitch to the managers about helping me and said, she's just having a seizure, but you can still serve me. <gasps> When people can't become disposable, yeah. the world is ending. Oh my god! Uh, and uh, and went on to say, you can just step over her and get my smokes for me. Well, when this disgusting old person is in the home and uh-huh. they can't do anything for themselves, mm-hmm. someone should just come in and be like, you can just step over them. Just step over them. Step over them. It kind of goes into more detail, but I'll skip over Gosh. that. But it just blows my mind that people can act this way. Look, I'm sorry, I'm having a seizure and can't get your cigarettes for you, but I don't exactly have any control over this. I think you'll yeah, survive. You just without choose. your smokes like, and lighters. You know I really yeah. fancy having a seizure right yeah, now, not? actually. Yeah, why not? I'm just going to survive a few more minutes about your cigarettes. Make, uh, this makes me sad that we, li- we live in this world sometimes. Yeah. I So... I, for anyone who does, has never had epilepsy or things like this, the, I completely understand this aura that you get before having a seizure. It was like I suddenly slowly lost control of my body. And instead of like, because when you think people seizures, the people think the seizures happen of like the, the, the shaking part or whatever is this part of the seizure. That's the seizure. But it does happen slightly before where this sort of warped reality gets over you. For me, it was like a slight dizzy feeling and a feeling of like, it was like spacing out. It's very difficult to kind of explain. Mm-hmm. And it would last about maybe 10 seconds and then the seizure would happen. Gosh. So, I so always, you have like a very short amount of time to be sh- like, oh, yeah. react. So like depending on what I was doing in that time, like for me, luckily, it, my yeah, seizures can... happened like when I was waking up. Yeah. I, mine never happened like as I was already awake. I was very lucky in that situation where, so most of the time I was in bed, but sometimes it would happen if I was like nodding off on the sofa or something. And then those situations, it's like, oh, this is kind of a bit weird because what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to fall off onto the floor or something? Mm-hmm. I'm not going to fall out of my bed because it's wide enough that like, yeah. I don't jump across the room or something. But yeah, the idea that like it, in that moment, 
you would see someone and then go, what the hell is wrong with you? Why are you not serving me? It's really yeah, disgusting. I actually because think that's awful. It's, Power kink. It's very evident when you see someone in that state that something is wrong. Yeah. That it's not, there, it's not someone actually just being a bit dumb or stupid or like trying to be annoying. Like you can clearly see that something's happening in that moment. Mm-hmm. So the idea that you would have that reaction. And then after having a seizure, like you would then say all that stuff. Yeah. It's really awful. Kind of shows that in their life, they see everyone else as like a secondary character. Secondary like, characters, yeah. I'm the main character. How dare you have a seizure in front of me? Mm-hmm. I find that really quite grim, actually. Yeah. Luckily, I've never had to... I've never had a seizure, so I've never had experiences, stuff like that. The closest thing from the way you describe it, maybe not quite as immediate, is like before a migraine, mm-hmm. you get like odd sensations. Mm-hmm. Like your brain kind of goes a bit like, oh, it's, everything's a bit bright and a bit painful. And then like you get the throb and then it's like, okay, I'm going to have a migraine now. Time to retire for Time at least retire. six hours. Yeah. I mean, the seizure part of it is it, it genuinely feels like you're possessed. Yeah, well, like it's, when, yeah, from, like, seeing people have, like, violent seizures, it's very easy to understand that, like, several hundred years ago, people would be like, a demon! Oh, absolutely, absolutely, because I would, I would, like, my thing, was, it wasn't so much my body so much, because my whole body would go really stiff, but it was my head, and oh. my head would do this and just jolt. It was oh, like, gosh. but it was completely, I couldn't control you, yeah, any of it. Yeah, you can't, yeah. Um, sometimes, if my brother ever, because he was young, it's, it's kind of, is it good enough to do this? I don't really know if it's a good idea. But sometimes, if he ever saw me, when we shared a room together, when I was young, young, he would like come and like hold my head still but like sometimes it would almost make me feel a bit worse because it was like restricting it was kind of it's hard to explain like kind of because it's not going to stop you from jolting no it's going to kind of feel like impact your bones yeah your body was kind of fighting against it because i wouldn't really hurt myself if i'm in my bed because it's all cushioned but like when you were hot when you would hold my head still it was almost like my yeah, like, it was like my body was doing this and then my neck would hurt and things. So I always wish I would just pass out because yeah. sometimes I would just pass out. So I wouldn't really experience it. I would just wake up a bit later. Is weird. How like, long do they last or how long did they it last? It was honestly, it could be within 10 seconds to a few minutes. Like sometimes, really? yeah. We, we had to call the ambulance a few times on me when I was younger. And it was properly before I had like a full diagnosis because that was what made us realize what was going on. Yeah, of course. And then when I took medication they would get a little bit less. But now and then, if... So mine was brought on by stress. If I had a really stressful situation, which in my childhood was almost every, every day. day yeah. That was what my... Because most people think epilepsy, they think flashing lights. And that's one type. That's a trigger, that, isn't yeah, it? That's yeah, that's one type of epilepsy where people are photosensitive. For me personally, I could go with flashing lights, I could go to discos, no effect on me whatsoever, loud noises, no effect. For me, it was stress. stress. Sometimes overtiredness would happen some people but for me it was stress so so it's got to be like a de- I don't actually know what it is but it must be like a depletion of a chemical mm-hmm. or something or like a chemical's washing out of your body yeah. maybe it's the sleeping chemical or something and it's just like oh your brain just doesn't have time to catch up or something and yeah. that's when like a short circuit happens yeah I'm not sure because so mine was actually called Rolandic epilepsy I know right so Bizarre. yeah what are the chances what are the chances Gosh. so yeah it was it, it, it was a horrible experience and I'm glad that like I had the the child infant version where like like when I, I think it was, I must have been maybe about 15. I think when I was 14 or 15 is when I had to stop taking medications because they put like all the electrodes on your head yeah. and they test you. And that's how we found out we had it. And then I guess now it's still technically like part of me, but I don't actually have seizures anymore. Now and then, sometimes, very loosely, I sometimes get that dizzy. The feeling. The feeling um, on a very low scale, but it never results in a seizure. And I've not had one since I was about maybe 15. The reason I'm going so in depth is no. I, want, I want to, people to realize that that's really disgusting. That's Yo, what that absolutely. person has just done. Absolutely. Like, I'm sure I don't need to explain that to you, but all the extra context. But yeah, it feels like you're possessed. Generally feels like you're possessed. It's horrible when your body does something that's completely out of your control. Oh, isn't it's, it just? It's, yes, it's, I know yeah. all about this. It's, yeah. It's horrible where you, your, your own body is like fighting against itself in yeah. a way. Like, it, it's horrible. So this says, please. Please don't show me your butthole. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. right. This okay. is a story about me. Oh. I work in a phone store and recently we launched the newest line of phones at the time. This is a few years ago. So yeah. It's just, we're just, they're, they're, he's called them fruit phones. But like, oh, we Apple, know what they yeah. are. We know what they um, are. Since the launch, we have had a lot of customers that pre-ordered their phones, received them in the mail and now are here to transfer content from one phone to the other. Because back in the day, because this, this is always a bit old, because back in the day with the clouds, you couldn't do, you had to like do it through a computer or go yeah. to the store to do it for you. I mm-hmm. back like, years ago. So a customer comes in. She came in uh, with two iPhones going uh, from one to the other, trying to transfer stuff from one to the other. Mm -hmm. Uh, Not really a big deal for stuff like us, uh, as we have a machine that transfers it 
all for us. But unfortunately, it was having issues on this specific day. So of I had to transfer the photos manually. Oh. Before I began checking one phone, I gave it to her and said, will you please make sure there's nothing on here that you don't want me to see? She says, that would take me ages to go through that on my phone. I'd be like, no, because just do it. every other photo that you do <laughs> no, is whole pics. No, no, <laughs> the stuff that you share in the piss bandits. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, no. Like, I, what's, what's the, the piss, piss bandit? bandit? Yeah. It's the group chat we have with Novimpia yeah. exposing the piss bandits. <laughs> <laughs> and then please, will you delete any photos that, yeah, you don't want me to see? She apparently does it, hands me the phone and says, there you go, you can start moving the pictures across. Okay. I go through the pictures, checking one at a time and get about 400 pictures into her gallery before I start to see pictures of her butthole. Maybe she wanted him to see it. Yeah, maybe she, she was, was like, yeah, oh. oh. Yeah, are you into this? Yeah. Ask man. No, I'm a... Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, she had got a tattoo done around it and took multiple photos to send to people, but now I cannot unsee them. Okay. I handed the phone back to her and said, please, can you make sure that there are things on there that are not appropriate for me to be seeing? And she insists that I can do it. But when all the yeah. pictures did eventually finish transferring, mm. I got, to, I got, <laughs> when I did an overdue lunch around 4.30 and headed to the eye bleach in order to <laughs> clear my mind. I'm not like, surprised. But the thing is, so I had an incident with this years ago mm-hmm. at uh, one of the social, inc- like with some in the city, like YouTube events. Person, someone shows you their rosebud. Uh, yeah, so they just got their rose, please take a <laughs> surf with rose rose bud. So do you know, I, I, I don't know, if it, is, did they do it now? Hang on, let me actually open Yeah, I know exactly what you're so going to say. So this down here. This yeah. Down. So in the it icon, used to be bigger though. It used to be bigger. Yeah. So obviously when you take a phone on the iPhone, there's like a last image taken here. And she wanted me to take like a selfie with her. And obviously with, most of the time when I take photos with like fans and subscribers and things, I'm tall, I've got a long arm. So I'm like, do you want me to do it for you? So I put it out like that. Mm. Luckily, she was of age. So oh. it, it made the next part of the story not really awkward. Yeah. But... As I picked it up, I went to do this. And obviously, of course, I'm just looking at the phone and I could see at the bottom corner that it was literally just like her breasts. And I find that interesting because that means that the last photo she took before she this t- selfie with you was just like, ah, oh, yeah, like, there it is. <laughs> I get that it's one of those things that it's clearly not her fault. She obviously overlooked it. It's like stupid. But I just, just for two seconds, just go, if you're going to hand your phone to someone else, just just have a yeah, tiny yeah, thought. Sure. Have a tiny thought that maybe that's... Yeah. Might be there. It's, the thing is, it could have been a photo sent to her because some things are apparently that's saved for the true. phone. So, so WhatsApp. The piss bandit. Exactly, yeah, every, yeah. The amount of things that I'm like, when did I get this? Yeah. <laughs> so I think some, that, that possibly could have happened. Maybe she yeah. just got a photo or something. But I was like, I've just boobs done. And I, the whole sort of interaction, it was just a bit awkward. This one is called, a customer said we had a ridiculous money policy. Okay. I agree. Are you ready? So I work in retail in the UK. And in the UK, last year, we got rid of all paper notes. When was this? Oh, this was kind of recently. Replacing them with plastic. Oh, a nice plastic five pound note. Oh, 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 cologne. Cologne and shade. Now I can do this and it's back to normal. Not like the paper ones. Oh, but don't put it in the dryer. Oh, these are so... The the dog's like, help me. (laughs) Do you know, these are so bad for putting in machines though because it's all crinkled so much now. They're all like, no, 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 you're stealing. A few days ago, I had a customer by a duvet for £80. Oh! <laughs> but handed me four paper £20 notes and I explained I could not accept it. So when, I don't know if anyone else in the world has this, but when our paper notes were changed for plastic, they had like a date of like, you can't use paper notes after this time. Like yeah, they and expire. the thing is as well, is you had loads, loads of, You had we, like seven years I can something. I can kind of understand when this story is probably going to go. We had the same thing happen. You you had so much notice. And there was also like in our store, there were signs everywhere saying yeah. like, this is the date that you can't yeah. use this yeah. specific note anymore. Yep, yeah. yep, 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 yep. I could not accept it. Proceed to said customer and the customer behind them in the queue was having a go at me for refusing goods money. They were having a go at me for our company policy. That's not a company policy. Company policy. policy. That's, a, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's like the law. That's, yeah, the, the Bank of England is changing. After about five minutes of ranting at me, they asked to see my manager. I refused, saying this isn't a store issue and my manager can't do anything. If you want to complain, may I refer you to the Bank of England? <laughs> <laughs> Liz trusts us I'm crying. And oh breaking. dear, dead now. The first customer paid on card instead, but the second customer threw everything they were going to buy on the floor and stormed out. Oh, and the poor girl I was training up next to me was standing behind me, clearly traumatized. I mean, she needs to get used to it because if she's going to work yeah, in retail, you need to get used to it. That's, that's also sis. very tame. Sorry, sis. Yeah. <laughs> Pissing yeah. on the floor. Yeah. I know there are some places because, like, Canada has. 
plastic money as yeah, well. Yeah, Australia. Now. Australia does it, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure how many other countries, like, because I know America doesn't. They I think the Euro- Europe is looking into it, I think, oh, oh, if okay. they haven't done it yet. There are like, yeah, they're, there's like changing. There was a huge problem with plastic money, actually, because it's not recyclable. Like, you, it's actually like single, it's single use plastic, oh, technically. Sake, yeah. Isn't that terrible? It's also not vegan. What? They use well, animal products in it. Official, what was the reason they changed it to plastic? I have no idea. Because I know people like there were there were people in our shop that would say things like, "Well, because sometimes if you put it in the washing machine, accidentally your child's it just ruin the money." But now you can't ruin the money. But then surely, if you're tumble drying it, this would melt. Yeah, but if you also put it in too much hot water, it will be like broken. Was it meant to be for longevity? I don't know, like the reason why they made it plastic. I guess so. But I remember there was the whole scandal as well because it has cow yep. bones or something. Was it gel? Is it gelatin? I think it's made with some through kind a, of a like, process with gelatin in it. Yeah, yeah it's not vegan. Like, but crazy. The, I don't understand why they've made non-vegan money. Surely there was a re- there was a way they could have done it without using. It's that? one of those things though where there's so many like security processes that are around making money. Maybe they couldn't make it perfect or something. Or maybe it cost like a penny more than it yeah. would have and they're like, no. I don't get how you have existed bl- yeah. and like not realise Like you must have been walking around like this with your ears closed and never spoken to anyone yeah. for like six years yeah. and then just decided to go shopping. Yeah. And again, yeah, you, the amount of warning that you have was so... And the thing is as well, is the money changed one time at a time. So first it was the five yeah. pound notes, yeah. then it was a 10, yeah. then it was a 20, then 50. Like it didn't all happen in one go as well. No. So you all had warning and they didn't all change at one time. So the idea that you would even try to say that like, oh, it's, you should take legal uh, money. It's like, fuck it's off. legal tender girls. Grow, grow up, like grow, grow up. up. I don't understand why people love to stand in the way of progression like i just don't know it. it's it's similar to so we have a we well we I probably shouldn't say this actually we go to a shop sometimes in which you can scan in with your phone but because so many people complain that they were like i don't have the app i don't have the phone i don't have this they just they just changed it back to like oh well, you can just scan in with a card then and it's yeah, like it was, you are doing the same thing you're doing the same thing the thing is it, it's not even for me so much of using card rather than the app it but like people have this rule like I, I, you don't have to shop there yeah, you're, like, there we, are there so are, many other we live in available London, options. And like, yes, we that that one store here is like that. But like, there is other 20 other shops around us. Mm-hmm. Like you could walk two more minutes down the road and there is another like Tesco or something. Mm-hmm. So I don't understand why you're acting as if like your rights have been taken away because a shop that didn't exist before mm-hmm. now is here that you have to use the app to scan in so you pay on your account. I think people also think that like digital money isn't real money, but also like, wait till you hear that money isn't real anyway. Yeah, like, <laughs> like if you've got a bank account, like they isn't, there isn't like a pile of money, like Green God's bank that just holds like, all of your oh money. God. In it. Like, I know, like <laughs> bringing up a reference I know. to that. But yeah. like, that's because I would think, what else have I seen where like a yeah. money safe? But like, but I think people actually do believe that thing like that like that the banks, banks have, have like millions of pounds like yeah. stacked up in like, yeah. a, like a safe. I think I think of like Mission Impossible and movies like that where there's yeah. like safes. But like, no, There's just, just yeah, it, stacks it, of money and someone's counting through them. It is them, literally you know. some money on a screen. Yeah, it's numbers. And they're not tangible in the slightest. Yeah. Two things can coexist exactly. Yeah, And absolutely. it doesn't take anything away from you. This is the thing, like, do people moan that, like, when you go on the London Underground, you can use Apple Pay to, like, go through the back turntables? Oh, I yeah. want to buy a ticket! Like, I've never yeah. seen people complaining about that. That's or tapping true, their actually. card. I've never seen people complain. But for some weird reason, when you're buying groceries or go to shop like that... Yeah, because even to... the bus drivers don't take money now, do they? You, no, have to pay, you have to pay, you have to pay, with, pay with a card. card. Because... Like, it's just easier. And I think COVID changed a lot of it as well. Yeah. And I just think, like, it, there are so many more things you can be worried about in society than, like, one shop opening up around you mm-hmm. that, like, you can just scan in and go. Like, you're not being forced to shop there. I completely agree. So this story is called... She cut off his head and threw it at my face. <laughs> oh, my God. I was like, goodness me. <laughs> the got dark. Girl. My most disgusting cashier experience. Oh, very good. This happened a few weeks ago over the summer before I headed off to university. I've been working at a, quite a large grocery store to make money to help me with my mood. Aww. My job entails quite a few responsibilities, but mainly I'm on the tills, girl. I'm on the game. Scanning up. I'm mainly, mainly I'm on, I'm the, on game. the game. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't a store. This is a brothel. A br- yeah. Uh, what? In Amsterdam. An, yeah, all red like a window. So I'm sitting at my t- I'm sitting at my window. So I'm sitting at my till. Halfway through a 10 hour shift. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm almost about them. time to clock off but a woman comes over to me who was quite clearly heavily pregnant. She walked up to my conveyor belt full cart of shopping. She has two young kids also with her. One walking alongside and the youngster and the young one who is in the baby car, the baby yeah, chair, the little seat, the little seat at the front. It's obvious that she is in a rush and has her hands full with the kids. So I offered to take her bags and uh, started packing the items for her. She was very thankful and I tell her it's no big deal. This is where things got 
Interesting. Oh, right, okay. She began to lift the young child out of the seat because yeah. he was in the way of her putting the shopping into the into the car. And she immediately threw him out the window. And she th- just like uh the <laughs> Miss Trunchable. <laughs> no, Miss Trunchable. Oh, no, okay, no, 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 Oh. Oh. As she picks up the baby to put her onto the floor, the child proceeds to projectile vomit oh. directly all, all over the scanned shopping. I'm not talking a little bit of sick, more like Charlie in the, Charlie in the limo in Always Sunny. Has anybody seen that? Oh, I've not seen Always no. Sunny. I'm going to rephrase it as almost like the child from Exorcist. There you go. The there you go. Yeah. Yeah. The stuff just keeps coming, completely covering all of her shopping and the shopping cart. The woman was almost in tears, oh, apologizing do, yeah. as much as she could, thinking uh, as humanly possible. I tell her that it's not her fault after uh, there's no way you can predict a baby to be sick. Because babies do just no, be they, sick yeah, sometimes. Suddenly, suddenly they're just like, I'm actually very unwell now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, usually my team leader would normally be there. But in a situation like today, unfortunately, it was incredibly busy and they were dealing with someone else. Uh. Firstly, I called the in-store cleaner to come clean the sick off the floor. I closed down my till. Next, I go to one of the friends who's working on the shelves and got him to help with a lot of persuasion yes. to come help yes, yes. <laughs> with a hazardous waste container. I was going to say, exactly. isn't it technically like biohazard yes, material? Yes, biohazard. Comes and cleans up the sick. So I grab another car, race around the store and complete the rest of her shopping that she had got damaged. Oh is that normal? Would you normally do that? I don't know, actually, because what? who's... <sighs> Depends how busy it is, I guess. Yeah. Essentially, there are, there's like two more pages of story. Essentially, she went and helped, got the rest of the shopping. She scanned everything through, helped the woman. The woman was like in tears being, I can't believe you helped me like this. It was a nice story. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. The, Very unfortunate what, though. Yeah, to have like, I, I never experienced puke in my no, store. No, never, never, never. Do you remember that grandma juice one? Grandma now juice. Now I remember oh, tales from retail. Yeah, grandma, the grandma juice. juice. Awful. Grandma juice. Yeah. yeah. No, luckily I've never had uh, vomit. Um, I think I've told the story on the... Party, water out. The party, party out. Before of um, there was this woman that came in and she uh, she had a heavy accent. I don't know where she was from. I think she was somewhere in the region of Eastern Europe, and she had a ring and she wanted to buy a new one. And she was like, "It's covered in faces," and I was like, "Faces." What do you mean, fa- how is it? No, it's not got any faces on it. And she was like, no, faces. Oh, and I was God. like, ah. So, yeah. Covered in faces. Yeah. That's probably like the closest to like. Blech, I've ever Blech, been. Yeah. yeah, no. Never had like a vomity lady. No. Or a vomity baby. baby. Yeah. But yeah, because I don't know like when, because when does things fall into, well, it's not our fault that it got damaged. I don't know like when, what, what the line of that is. Because it's like, technically not your, like the way that I, we always used to do is that like you could technically like, it technically wasn't stealing if you were to pick something up, put it on your body and then not leave the store. Yeah. If you yeah. put it back somewhere else, like still it's still in the store so they haven't stolen. Yes. So maybe it's a similar case of like, well, if you haven't paid for your shopping, it's not yours yet. So maybe it's like damaged property within the store. Yeah, I don't know what... Yeah, but then, cause... like, can you find a baby? Arrest the no, baby! Arrest the baby, yeah. I'm one of those people that as soon as someone starts being, like, heavily sick near me, I'm like, I have to leave immediately. I can't be around this. Because, mm-hmm. like, yeah. my body just starts to go and say, oh, should we join in? Should we join and in? it's like, oh. no, I don't want oh, this. Grandma Stop. juice here. Yeah, awful. No, yeah, I'm not you. sure. But, yeah, th- I'm glad that they, this was, like, a nicer story where, like, what a the person that she day. really helped out yeah. was like, right, let me go grab the shopping again, did it all for her. And I she imagine was having a breakdown or even something. Even just, like, actually going shopping with a baby is like the most stressful experience anyway yeah. having two and then one being like uh, mummy it's mummy, time, it's time to, to be vomit. Sick. Yeah, yeah. Every, all over the shop not on the floor just all over the important bits mm-hmm. like well, I remember year, years and years ago me and my brother were at my dad's house and we were going to just go to the gra- our grandparents for the weekend and, and it's, it's like we're slightly different when we're not shopping but my brother I was going to say where is this yeah, going <laughs> me and my brother decided to like race each other who could get out the front first and I went around one way and my brother went around the other way the, the building that we were in and in the, in the process of doing it he broke his head he ran into like a window frame I don't know what the hell he was doing and so we had to take him to like A&E and like get him like sewn up but when we're at A&E my, I decided that I was going to be sick and like I decided to like v- just like sick in this any place. So my dad's there with my brother, like bleeding head, being like, you need to help. And then I'm suddenly being, I'm going to vomit. And like, sometimes things just happen. Yeah, that's like, true. Your dad must've been like, what has happened? Yeah, that's why what is dead. going on? Um, yeah, I just, it's, it's stupid. Like, I was like, sometimes the world's just like, fuck you. Yeah, she's so like, just, do you know what? Yeah. No, so not today. Woman, like I'm pregnant with my like newborn child. I've got two kids here. And all of a sudden my baby's like just vomit. Just like, I'm my stressed out. So I'm glad that the, I'm glad that the checkout stuff was yeah. very helpful to her. I think most of the time I've worked in very busy places that I don't think if someone was like in this situation that I would be able to like take the time away and like sh- do their entire shopping for them. Mm. I don't think 
I would have been allowed to. I think, mind you, then in that case, I think because it was so busy, we would always have like managers and something. They would just yeah, go yeah. away and deal with it somehow. Yeah. So they go away and deal with her. Yeah, deal. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> This one's got quite a silly title. Okay. Silly. Customer accuses us of hiding corn and having corn parties due to a corn shortage that was not happening. <laughs> God, this feels like the, but- the calories and butter and the uprising of the... Oh, it's yeah, yeah, the, 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 like your version. The butter girls. This was two to three years ago. I was about 16 at the time, and this was my first job at a big grocery retailer. Oh, God. I was working on stock this day, and I was in the noodle aisle when I feel a tap on my shoulder. It's this middle-aged gentleman, and he just looks at me and says the words, Corn! Okay. I told him that we have canned corn and frozen corn. What do you need? And then he says specifically he wants corn on the cob. I walk him over to the produce, and we don't have any in stock. This is normal for the time of year. It's winter. Oh, God. We have frozen corn on the cob, but he said the freezer ruins it. Okay, so he needs a very specific type of corn. He starts to throw a fit, saying that we are hiding the corn for ourselves due to the corn shortage. I don't think there was a corn shortage. I think it was just out of season. I explained to him that it's out of season and it will get harder to get during the winter. I think this store does have it from time to time during the winter, but it's mostly limited to cans and frozen. He asks for the manager, and now the manager was a tough but fair woman. She told everything how it was. I call her and she comes to the area. He immediately goes off on her about the hidden corn and how they're having secret parties with corn again and he says one of the funniest things I've ever heard he tells the manager that he knows all about the corn parties and her and I both burst out laughing I mean what are you supposed to do corn is good but who would have a party with corn he says we are not taking him seriously and his wife will be very angry when she hears about this my manager says there's nothing that she can do he raised his voice a little bit and now just spouted off nonsense about the wrath of the corporations will come and down upon us. The wrath of the corporations. Of, of course, Wonderful. Yeah. But then he comes down once he realises that he's making a scene over corn. The manager walks with me for a bit to make sure he doesn't come back to bother us and tells me I did a good job and that it's okay to laugh at something ridiculous sometimes. Well, ridiculous requests at work. I have had request. my fair share. Have you? Yes, but you can go. Okay, so quite often working in makeup retail, people have a very specific idea of what they want Mm -hmm. without really knowing like how to get what they want so sometimes people will come with like a photo of Kim Kardashian and be like I want this really pretty neutral makeup really light (laughs) I'm like this woman is doing drag (laughs) this is a drag you are showing me a drag queen going I just want a little bit of something here and I'm like okay first of all let me tell you that this is a complete Tart. <laughs> you are tart. You are tart. This is a lie. What you're seeing is a filter and we can't actually do plastic surgery on you. Mm-hmm. What I can give you is a concealer and teach you how to make it work. And they'll go, uh, it's too thick. Yes, That's this, literally this is a asking, liquid yeah. concealer. There's going to be liquid involved. It's too much. No, it's not. Use it like, no. I'm like, okay. Well, what do you want there? I want this. Kim Kardashian on my face I can't do that Okay leave And then quite often You'll get people be like I really want a Light brown Very black Dark Thick Heavy lipstick That's really lightweight (laughs) Practically barely see Can't really see anything But it has to last But I also don't want it To feel heavy And it also has to be Matte and shiny It has to be really shiny But not have a shine And it's like (laughs) Madam Whatever you're asking for Breaks all of the laws of physics I cannot give it to you I want to know The quantum physics Of lash lash glue that also works as a concealer. Yeah, I want to glue eyelashes on without any glue. I'm like, well, go to sleep and imagine it. (laughs) There you go, you've done it. Go take some hypno. Very, very that. (laughs) Always remember this one woman who was like, I really want to conceal this thing on my nose. And I was like, okay, well, we can do some concealer. Um, This is how you would use it. You put a little dot on and then you'd wait for it to sort of semi-set so it's going to create some coverage. And then you just like dab it in like this. And she was like, oh yeah, I like that. And then I asked her to like show me how she would use it then. She literally put it on wiped it off and then went it's not covered yet and I was like you what <laughs> like imagine putting something on your hand and then just wiping it immediately off and being like it's gone like yes do you think maybe she thought it was like a medicine almost like it was going to hit like I don't fix know, the I issue don't know. That yeah, she people have asked like, for nose contouring and yeah, been like, like why is my nose why can I still see my nose and I'm like I'm not a plastic surgeon yeah, like, I'm giving you some brown powder to like give an illusion here there's this weird expectation especially it happens a lot with like cis women where they're expected to know how to use makeup but never ask how to use it mm-hmm. because they have to sort of be seen as like I know already how to use it because this is like my birthright or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, they sort of come in sometimes and would just like hold out a product and be like, 
I know what I'm doing. I'm like, okay, well, we can, I can help you. You just have to really listen to what I'm saying. Because if you put something on and wipe it immediately off and then go, why hasn't it covered me? I'm like, well, because you're wiping it off, madam. It's like, what do you mean this moisturizer hasn't done a full Kim Kardashian mm, yes. beat? What do you I'm mean like, this well, chemical you peel hurts? Yeah, <laughs> but it is very that. It is very that. Sometimes the requests you get in retail make you kind of go, Oh, the world is done. Oh, I do feel like I still feel everyone at some point everyone should to. have everyone. to work in retail everyone. to understand A, how to talk to other people in a sensible mm. way, but B, just how like deranged people It's the new be. conscription. It's like, go to yeah, work in go, retail. Yeah, please. You all have to work in Morrison's for at least a year. <laughs> the thing is, I, my, I've always, I mean, I've probably said this before on other ones. I feel like when it comes to a lot of entitled people as well, it's like when it comes to the food chain of work, yeah. they think of like retail is like definitely one of the lowest things that you oh, can do. Uh, absolutely. And I think to people who have that attitude, it, in their mind, it's the only place that they can feel like they're above someone. Yeah, they will never accept that you are explaining something to them. Yeah, because it's like, well, you're lower down on the Yeah, because they chain. think you're stupid. That's why you're working yeah, here. That's yeah. why you're working in retail. When a lot of people, especially young people who work in retail, are doing that for like, because they're waiting before they go to universities oh, or their yeah. jobs or all this, this kind of stuff. reminds me of this woman. This woman once at the makeup store that I worked at. And we just got to talking about what I was doing because at, at that time I would I just finished university and I was still working and I was like looking for more of a like scientific based job mm -hmm. um, but then the pandemic hit and everything went basically tits up for everyone yeah but that was all a hoax and it didn't happen no yeah um, so this woman was like we just got talking and then all of a sudden I was just telling her about like my experience like at university and then like also like telling her about like lipsticks and stuff and she was very interested but all of a sudden her demeanor changed she went oh so you haven't found a job then oh, for God's and sake. I was like I'm literally working right now telling you about these lipsticks working how rude why would you say that like I'm here working like oh you haven't found a job then as if like what I was doing was not actually in any way shape or form considered work yeah it was I was suddenly very much like just take your lipstick and Oh, no, I, I always think with those kind of stuff, unless you're literally inside the field that the person is trying to get a job in, don't make any kind of comments because yeah. you have, if you, unless you're actually someone who has a you know, degree in chemistry and all this stuff, whatever, but yeah. you only had biochemistry, like, you have no idea how hard it would be to get into that yeah. kind of job for you. Like, I'm sure, like, there are. Also, I might have just finished yesterday. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, we haven't found a job yet. What are you yeah, talking about now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not like back in my day. Yeah. You, you need, what you need to do is print off your CV and just go in and ask. Yeah. Go in and ask. Like, I, I, I obviously Never. didn't go to university, didn't do any of that stuff. But, like, say, I don't know, getting into, like, Vi you you get a job in social media. You you're a social media person. You do degree in so I'm sure there's social media degrees now. There I'm is sure indeed, there is. Yes. So like you get a degree in all of that. Like you come out of university and like of course it's still going to be difficult for you to find a company. You enter the job market. Yeah. Like you can't just get a job instantly because you've got a degree because you know that already. From, we, we've talked about many times about how mm. difficult it was for you to even try to mm. find like baseline mm. science degree mm. like. Uh, work after yeah expecting finishing. two full degrees and i'm like no sis this is an entry-level basic job i'm not having two degrees exactly you realize that's nearly like a hundred grand of debt and yeah. you're like seventeen thousand pounds a mm. year no holiday debt. like no to we're not me, doing when, that when people make comments like that i just feel like you're out of you're, touch. you're out of touch you were probably born in a privileged family yeah. had money and didn't have to do anything and all of a sudden you're like see so you've not found a job yet like i'm literally working right now so yes yeah. i have found a job actually yeah yeah like, yeah and also how dare you you don't know you? what i'm doing yeah you should never like Obviously, you don't mean, mean don't people anyway. Yeah, don't comment on people. Like, you don't know me. Yeah. If you knew me and you'd be like, oh, so how's the job going? Oh, how, have you managed to find anything yeah, in science? Yeah, yeah. I would yeah. have quite happily carried on that conversation. But, oh, so you haven't it makes it sound like I've just decided today, um, do you know what? I don't fancy doing all that whilst yeah. I'm at work. Like, just well, I also a think, loaded like, phrase. I also think it comes from the, 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 the scummy opinion of, like, retail workers, like, the scummy thing work, you can do. It's not work, yeah. And it's like, retail makes up one of the largest working industries in the entire world. Mm -hmm. Like, think about how many shops and things you work like. Mm -hmm. think about, well, retail has to be one of the biggest. I don't know what the biggest is, but retail is definitely, must be in, like, the top five. Yes, absolutely. Like, so the idea that you would expect all these people to, like, not be working this because you should be doing something it's like, well, you're shopping. Mm -hmm. Like, who, who's going to be? Yeah. Like, who, what, oh, what, like, a billion what? percent. <laughs> billion, 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 billion percent. It's funny how during the Panini Girls, um, suddenly all the most important, in, the most important people in society were the essential workers, and they were the people in retail. Yeah, and all and the people. Yeah, and exactly. everyone was like, "Oh my, I'm so glad you're here." Yeah. It's like so suddenly everyone has realised that we don't need CEOs to function. We yeah. need the people who are on the front lines, yeah. who are like providing everyday services. Yeah. What a surprise, Hate it. Scum, 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 scum. It's that, like, 
entitled attitude of like, well, you can't really be working. Like, this isn't a real job. It's yeah. like, yeah. I'm exchanging my life for money. That is in any way, shape or form work. Yes, absolutely. Stupid. Regardless of how much you enjoy or don't enjoy it. Like that is, I hate that the is... phrase. Also, the, another phrase is get a real job. Get a real I job. Yeah. so much. Get a real job. So what the thing is that most people in these, when people who say that also a lot of the time they don't even have jobs themselves. No. Well, you, in your alpha male video that I was watching yesterday and they were like, you need to get a nine to five. You have to work really really hard doing all this. I'm like, he's just, just standing on stage going, hello. Yeah, that's the I was thing. Like, I was like, oh, so you're telling everyone else what they need to do, but you're not doing that. Yeah. But in his mind, he so thinks that he's worked hard to get where he is. Yeah. But he's just on stage going, this is what you'd say, girlie. Yeah, you're just, you're just shouting like a twat in a microphone. On social and like, media. And you're, they're the same people that be like, social media is not a real job. Influencers aren't real. Yeah, you like are you're literally, literally doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, is like, that is how you have been able to make this money that you've yeah. got now is by doing the thing that you're trying to insult people for doing Weird. but the whole thing about the whole alpha and beta male thing is someone commented this on a chat on my on yesterday's video now i was like of course it is and some people go like so all these alpha males are telling you how to be alpha but it's it's not alpha to then follow someone else the alpha no, is not. the leader ironically so yeah. you're trying to make alphas you're calling everyone else is like you should be an alpha male they're but trying like, to collect betas yeah but that you're you're telling them to be alphas but like that means that you would be out of a job out of work out mm -hmm. of your yeah weird, you'd be a beta cuck surely that is like just destroys all of their arguments to begin with oh it's so insufferable isn't it Dumb. i just but do you know what i'm like do you know what yeah as long as you're making all that noise over there and not doing it anywhere near me i'm yeah, fine you can, well I go said, on I, go, I, pop off sis i said this about the question when it comes to like you're not allowed to be friends with someone who you would want to have someone want to have sex with you or something like gender wise and it's like but in our world that doesn't happen no we never or, we would like, never have friends <laughs> no it's like we would never have friends if that like the fact that that is like a uh, a boundary that you have in your like heterosexual I mean we've even had sex with like some of our friends <laughs> yeah like <laughs> that's what's so bizarre is that just like it's such a like I don't know this idea of like sanct or something like yeah. it's so like sacrilege to even and it's like it's not that serious it's like calm down should just yeah it's stupid I don't understand these things they spend their time worrying about so much stuff that just has no me, like in a hundred years, no one's gonna care. Yeah, no one cares. I don't. I don't like entitled people. That's no. the only thing about reading things like this. Is it's very. It's not like entitled pet. Well, I guess it is in the same sort of sense. If you feel a bit stressed after reading them, yeah, but yeah. like I'm so glad that retail. As of right now, it's a thing of my past. Yeah, I'm very glad, and my heart goes out to all retail workers because. Awful. Oh, every, so every single year when it comes on Christmas time. Oh, I, I, I always, try and avoid it actually yeah, because I I'm always, so interested. I always say to myself in my mind, I always go, just remember. Remember how remember, it was. Remember how it was and just remember how lucky you are that you, although it's a lot of work, you're doing a job that makes you so happy. Whereas like for 10 years, I did, well, I guess it was 11 you Christmases. You paid the price. Yeah, like 11, 11 Christmases, Christmases. I yeah. had to deal with the stress and the annoyance of people going absolutely bonkers. And I'm always like, my, my Christmas moments are always when I go, I really appreciate the what life I do that now. I have now. Yeah, and I really, I do not take it for granted for a second, which is why I put so much effort into what I do, mm -hmm. which is why elongating videos and things was like mm -hmm. a thing. I would make more content for you guys mm -hmm. and stream more. And like, mm -hmm. I tried to do as much as I can because I really want to, like, I really do appreciate this as a job. Mm-hmm. Yes. Lux hates it. Mm. Ow, she, wants to go into, she wants to go soliciting people. Solici I'm, mm. I'm a solicitor now. Yeah, 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 I just yeah. charge you money to sign yes, things. Please, yes. Oh, that is quite an iconic job though, isn't it? Just being like, oh, you need me to sign this. It will cost you. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of love it. Well, I guess we, here we got we got down 36 that's, minutes. That's so. the tea. Mm. I know I did and one the, more and story the tea you, is spilled. But did I, you? Yeah, I did oh, you one. did? Oh, yeah. I didn't mind. Well... Oh, oh she's down uh, the yeah. well. Say like she's down the well. Yeah, yeah. but Samara's my, coming back. <laughs> my mother drowned me in the well. Oh, same. Yeah. So, well, this is a lot. Yes. And what do you feel? Tell yes. me some of your stories down below. Tell us some of your tales yes. from retail. Tell some they retail. don't have to be horror stories, but they can be like just stories just, that have some kind of like that you remember for yeah, some reason that will that, stick with you. Yeah, even if it's I went to work today and I'm never shopping at BHS again. Yeah, that was a wonderful. Moment that will never be I history. do you know every now and then I try and like recreate exactly how I said it and I, I don't know what I was on that day but I just can't get that like pitch and desperation in my no, voice weird, isn't it? sometimes <laughs> never, it's just, just the happens. magic yeah you yeah, had to be magic. there yeah, yeah, yeah you did yeah oh whistle tone Mariah we, Carey oh my god oh mm, Luxaria Carey mm. ah! mm. all I want for Christmas is for you to f*** off <laughs> oh. well we will sing that in retail yeah we will yeah yeah, yeah. 
Anyway, yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video thank and listening if you're listening to the audio version. Yeah. As always, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, make sure you give us a five star review, and of course, go check out Lux Area channels. All yes, of our links please. are down below. Please, please, go please. give her a follow. We're yes. going to go to her house now and film a what not to wear with yes. Trini and Susanna Girls. Oh, the retail horror. <laughs> I would say that's probably that would say that that's the best thing that we're kind of known for on your channel. At I the would moment. say so. Yeah. I would say so. Yeah, Trini. Trini. We had Trini. To if anyone knows more, please send over because we're running out of episodes. Yes. Yeah. I need more. <laughs> series please more of them because wasn't like seven series or something there was and I've mm. only got I've only had three but we've already done like nearly three seasons isn't yeah. that wild but like two episodes per season like, not, yeah. yes yeah mm. to be honest yeah anyway I thank you guys we've always made me gay be everything you want to be and don't let any bitch out there say that you have to work in retail and like serve all these like scummy people who want to call you yes. all these names under the sun because yes. you know what they're beneath you and yeah. you're better than them yes exactly that wig tea wig tea